Hey guys, this is Gloria. So as promised, I am back to share with you guys how I decoupage the napkin onto this candle. And it's very, very simple. Um, what I did was I took a regular dollar store candle just like this, and I already took off the top part and the, the other part of the wrapping. But, you know, you just make sure that all the wrapping is off of your candle. And I must say, guys, these dollar store candles smell so good. Oh, my God. Okay, so what I did was I opened up the napkin, and this is the napkin here. And remember what I told you guys in the first video, that your napkin is probably going to have more than one layer. And this napkin actually has a double layer, okay? So you have to work at it. That's why the side is all jacked up like this. But just go in an inconspicuous part, like the side of the napkin. And what you're going to do is just turn up gently pull off or deply the white part of the napkin off now I'm not sure how it will work if you put the napkin on there with um, with all those layers on there I'm not sure and maybe it will work better I don't know but all I know is this is the way that I did it and you guys could do it any way that you choose okay so this is what it comes out like and of course all of these roses are going straight up and down okay so the next thing that you're going to do is well my my candle is sort of small so i'm just going to cut the napkin in half just so that i can work with it a little easier and i think the last time i also ironed um my napkin just to get the creases out of it but i don't think it's really necessary i mean it's up to you if that's what you want to do but I don't think that it's really, really necessary to iron it because it's going to kind of smooth out anyway. So what you're going to do is you're going to find out how much of this napkin you actually need. And the, the way to do that is just to wrap your um, napkin around. And you don't want a whole lot of overhang. You just want it just enough. So it looks like this is where it's going to stop. And you do want enough. You just don't want too much overhang. And so I'm just going to cut it right there where my finger is. Sorry I'm doing some of this out of camera. But you guys catch my drift of just cutting it. And you want to try to cut it as straight as you can. But I'm, I'm not doing a good job here. Because I'm trying to do this fairly quickly. Because I need to get back to working on my projects. Um, so that is that and you can always go back and clean it up anyway um so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna figure out how we want this napkin to lay and i think i want the napkin to lay you know fairly with the with the, the printed part of the rose to kind of be mostly on the the um the candle so you're gonna kind of make sure that it's straight and where you know where you want it and then you're just going to hold it. And if you have a heat gun like this, or if you have a hair dryer, you can use that as well because you just need a little bit of heat. You don't need a lot. Now, it's going to get loud, guys, because I'm like right here next to my um, phone. So it's going to be a little loud. So please forgive me. Um, you can actually shut it, you know, shut your volume down a little bit if you don't like to hear the sound of the um, heat gun. But all you're going to do is I let it heat up just a little bit first. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna, you're gonna well, you're gonna try to keep it straight, but yeah, let me do it this way. Hold on guys, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it straight while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna hold it like this. And just watch your fingers and be very careful. But, you're going to put the heat on there and as you heat as you can see there can you see that as you heat it it's going to melt the the wax is going to kind of melt the um the napkin down into the candle and once you kind of get started it'll it'll go really fast but that is all you have to do and then you know i just um overlap it like this and I'm just going to heat it oh I'm out of frame I'm sorry but I'm just heating it here because I just want to close the steam up and you see that how it's melting that's how you know that it's, the paper is melting into the candle 
and then that's it that's how you do it and so what you're going to do is you're going to work your way around and you want to make sure that you keep it as um as flat as you possibly can while you're heating it so let me finish heating it up and finish doing it and then we'll cut off the excess um napkin okay And it doesn't take a whole lot. You don't have to stay in one place for a whole, you know, a lot of time. Just keep it moving. As you can see, I'm doing this on top of my sewing machine because the wax is gonna it's gonna cool really quickly because you're not putting a whole lot of heat on it. And so once the cool air hits it, it's gonna actually um, it's gonna be okay. And then if you have a wrinkle like that, just try to smooth the wrinkle out as much as you can with your finger okay and um you guys will do it better than i'm doing it because i'm trying to do it around this camera here and i shouldn't have overlapped it as much right here but that's okay you're not gonna worry about it okay so then that's that guys so now the napkin is fused into it and as you can see it's not a whole lot you know there's some wax on my hand but not a whole whole lot and there's a little bit let me show you because nurse tara had a question about that there's a little bit of wax down here and i should have covered my station and i should have actually covered my machine more more importantly but that's okay because i can clean that up and so then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to trim off and you could do this before or after i think when i first did the candles i did this beforehand but you're just going to trim off the excess uh, napkin, just like so. Okay, and that's what you're going to be left with. And in order to make that part kind of smooth into your bottom, all you're going to do is heat that up again, and you're going to smooth it down. So I'm just going to set it right here for a minute, and I'm just going to... And as I'm heating it, I'm just smoothing it into the um the wax and it's not real hot you know the hottest part is the um is the actual heat gun that's if you put your hand into the heat gun area but other than that it's not um it's not real hot the wax doesn't hurt in other words it doesn't hurt and you're just gonna make sure that it's um adhered down I'm sorry guys, I keep on getting out of frame with this, but but that's it. And then, you know, you're gonna, you know, you could take a nail file or whatever and just really um, clean it up real good. And then you're gonna do the same exact thing to this top part here. You're gonna cut off that top part as close to the candle as you possibly can so that you won't have a whole lot of overhang. And, um, and then you're gonna take your heat gun again and you're just gonna heat the top. Hold on, I'm gonna bring the camera down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna just heat the top here and try to smooth out any areas that you need to smooth out. And just kind of you can just kind of smooth it on top of the um on top of the candle and that's about it and again you can take your fingernail file and just file it down a little bit more but that is how the candle looks after you put the um the napkin on there so i hope you guys like it i hope you guys give it a try because it's really simple and they look really cute once they're done and they can match your decor, especially if you go to Ikea and stock up on all this prettiness that they got going on right now. So that is about it, guys. If you have any other questions or concerns or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.